Well, foot care is extremely important when it comes to patients with diabetes. If a diabetes patient gets even a small cut on the foot, it could turn into something a whole lot worse. Melissa Cole went to see a podiatrist in East Hartford who tells us more about prevention and treatment plans. Chris Jenjenbach of Vernon has diabetes and has been coming to First Choice Health Centers in East Hartford for his care. I had a foot injury. My foot actually swelled up to about the size of a football. And it was very painful. Dr. Vera Hobfass is Chris's podiatrist here at First Choice Health Centers, which is a community health center. Our mission is to provide access to high quality health care to the local community here. We provide excellent health care and affordable rate and, um, and we do work with patients who are uninsured through a sliding scale uh, fee schedule. Dr. Helpfast treats all conditions of the foot and ankle in kids and adults. Many of her patients are like Chris and have diabetes. In people with diabetes, there are certain complications that can occur. And um, one of those complications is what's known as vascular disease. This nerve damage can cause numbness in the feet. When there's numbness, then the treatment becomes more about prevention of injury. And this is all about educating the patient regarding their foot care, frequent monitoring of their skin of their feet, avoiding barefoot walking, um, using proper shoe gear to protect their feet. With this numbness, if someone steps on something, he or she may not feel it, and this could lead to a wound, an infection, or even amputation if not caught early enough and treated properly. As for Chris, he came in to see Dr. Halbfast at the right time. About a year ago, he came in and, um, and one foot was severely red, swollen, and hot. Um, he didn't recall any injury to it. And um, turned out that um, he had developed something called a Charcot foot. This is a somewhat less common condition that's seen, a complication of diabetes that we see in the foot. Chris had to wear a special boot and stay off his foot for about a year, but thankfully it healed. And this is the foot where um, Chris had the Charcot deformity. So you can see the arch is a little flattened on this side compared with his left foot. Dr. Helpfast notices a small cut on the bottom of his foot. Looks like maybe um, he stepped on something, a little black and blue. It will probably be okay, but this is the type of thing that we need to keep a little bit of a closer eye on. So we're gonna have him come back relatively soon so we can just monitor that and so make sure that this is not turning into a larger wound. For now, she cleans it and puts on a Band-Aid and plans to see Chris back in a couple of weeks. If something comes up sooner than his appointment, here at First Choice Health Centers, the goal is to see patients the same day they call. Part of our role here in the community is to help reduce the number of emergency room visits by our patients, and so we do offer the same day appointments um, we do have a 24-hour call system, too, so patients can call in with questions. Chris is lucky that he has really good pulses. He's got great circulation. Um, his diabetes is very well controlled. So generally, Chris does really fine with these types of little things that happen. All right, well, First Choice Health Centers are located in Manchester, Vernon, and East Hartford. Head to firstchc.org uh, to learn more.